Kids are fun to be with for a parent, but tend to change how everything is structured in your life, including travel. Kids increase the stress level of a trip from spending more time packing to being unable to nap or use an eye mask while you embark on your journey. However, with good planning, you can have a trip. If you've been having problems traveling with kids, then this video is for you. Today, we have compiled some parenting hacks for travel that will benefit you and your family. Number 10, when booking your flight, try to get seats next to each other. Sitting next to your kids makes it easier to care for them while you travel. Airlines are increasingly charging for seat allocation, which means that families that refuse to pay the charge end up strewn about the plane. Reserve seats when booking a flight. Another way around this is to make an exception or note in the reservation that you are traveling with children, which may come in handy later. If you can't acquire a seat next to your child when you book, keep phoning the airline for assistance, particularly 7 days, 48 hours, and 24 hours before your flight. Some airlines keep seats for families for a week before releasing them. You may also be lucky to get a change as elites are frequently upgraded at the 24 and 48 hour mark, freeing seats in the economy section for simpler seat switching for families. Number nine, shorten long airport security waits by using the family lane. Most airlines make provisions for family lanes at security checks. Long security lines combined with pushing a stroller up steep slopes could be exhausting for both the parent and the child. These lanes are available at most major airports for families traveling with children, and the queues are substantially shorter. Aside from reducing stress for parents, family lanes also help to speed up the checks. Before you get in line, just ask a TSA official. They're always on standby to help you pass through airport security with your family and begin your holiday as soon as possible. Number eight, gate check your baby gear. No doubt, baby gear such as car seats and strollers make it easier to move a baby around, especially when traveling by air. For adults, the walk from the check-in counter to the gate can be long, and for children with short legs, it can be considerably longer and more stressful. Gate checking the stroller allows children to remain in their chariot until boarding and back in it immediately after landing. For assistance, simply check in with the gate attendant. Luckily, virtually all airlines accept child safety seats and strollers as checked baggage at no additional cost. Another advantage of gate checking on the plane is that it's available at your departure and destination airports. For road trip, car seats can be considered a necessity even for older children. Before your trip, check to see that the harness straps of your child's car seat are tight enough and in the right place. Ensure that your car seat is securely fastened with the chest clip in the right place. Number seven, embark on road trips at night. A long road with an active or cranky child in the back seat can be exhausting. If you have small children with early bedtimes who can't stay up a little later, consider scheduling your most extended driving stints at night. Ensure your kids are well fed, put them in their pajamas, give them their favorite stuffed animals, and then sit back and relax as the automobile rocks them to sleep. The beauty of a road trip at night is that sleep routines aren't interrupted and it's a peaceful environment. There's no need to stop and eat because we don't eat meals in the middle of the night. Plus, your kids won't be bothered by boredom since they're asleep. Number six, pack noiseless toys and keep them off the floor. Along with other necessities, you should pack some toys when going on vacation with your children. Like every Every other child, your toddler will have a favorite stuffed animal to snuggle up with while napping or eating during the trip. When your child has nothing else to do, interactive books may make long car rides much more bearable. We understand that electronic devices might make traveling with children simpler, but bringing some quiet toys along with them can also help keep boredom away. With the help of seat coat hooks, you can keep your baby's toys from being lost or ending up on the filthy airline floor. Just make sure everything's clean before putting the toys away. Way. Your baby can play without you worrying about germs. Number five, always travel with a Ziploc bag. It turns out a gallon-sized Ziploc bag can serve many purposes and it comes in handy when traveling with kids. It's perfect for keeping soiled clothes in if a child gets dirty or has an accident or to protect other items from getting soiled. To protect essential documents and passports from spills, keep them in a Ziploc bag. It's also helpful for packing kids' outfits like diapers, undies, socks, tops, bottom, and other accessories. Tagging daily attires in individual plastic bags when packing for your vacation makes getting dressed in the morning a breeze. Number four, get a headphone splitter and kids' headphones. Suppose you only have one 
electronic gadgets to keep your kids entertained during your trip. In that case, it'll likely cause more problems than it solves. Purchasing a low-cost headphone splitter will save you a lot of drama. Your kids can comfortably watch a movie together. Well, that's if you're lucky to decide on a movie they'll all like. Remember, in-flight earphones don't often fit well in small ears, which is why bringing kid-friendly headphones makes them comfortable and makes us happy. Number three, double-check the airline's policies on breastfeeding. As a breastfeeding mom, you might be skeptical about the airline's policy on breastfeeding while flying. In this case, you may call in to check with them on the subject. When you're fully armed with the information you require, you'll be more comfortable during your trip. Inform them if you need to pump during your travel. There should be no problems, but it never hurts to be prepared. Are you hesitant to nurse in public? Get a nice nursing top before your trip so that feeding your baby in public won't be a problem. Call ahead to check and see if there are any lactation facilities available. Several airports now have lactation pods where you can nurse or pump. It's vital to note that the window seat will provide you with the most privacy for breastfeeding, so consider this while booking your flight. Number two, keep it organized. While on a trip, some things may go wrong and the impact is worse with kids. On the journey from check-in to the hotel, flights can be delayed or canceled and bags can be lost. Adults can handle these catastrophes somewhat well, but diapers and spare onesies are challenging to come by in an airport. You might want to bring extras of everything you need just in case calamity hit. Use an organizer between the seats or even a shoe caddy hung from the headrest of the front to keep toys, snacks, and other items in the back seat within reach of your young ones. When traveling alone, keeping track of USB cords, headphones, and other cables is difficult enough. When you multiply the number of electronic gadgets by three, four, or more people in the family, the clutter may quickly become out of hand. Use an inexpensive glasses case to keep cords confined and easily accessible in everyone's carry-on luggage. Number one, don't neglect health and personal hygiene. Avoid touching your face and always wash your hands to prevent you and your kids from contracting any form of illness during your trip. Always have hand sanitizer and antibacterial wipes with you. As soon as you locate your seats on an airline, wipe clean the window shades, tray tables, and armrests as they can be a breeding ground for viruses. Any form of medications and other medical supplies that you and your family use regularly should be packed in minor quantities. It's a brilliant idea to have a written copy of your children's medical records with you. If needed, having this information on hand can assist healthcare providers in making decisions so you won't have to worry about forgetting vital facts in a stressful time. We hope you found helpful information in this video. Kindly share and let us know in the comment section. Click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we post a new video. Thank you for watching.